Now that we are done with our new lesson, we need to get to our guided class practice. So please go ahead and make sure that your name is on your paper and the date today is November 16th, 2020. Okay, name and date. The children in room 12 collected 83 cans of food for the food drive. Mrs. Ms. Roman brought 10 more cans of food. How many cans of food did they collect all together? So I need 83 cans and Ms. Roman brought 10 more cans in. So we need the total number. So we need 83 cans plus 10 cans equals how many total? Well, what's 10 more than 83? Remember, I can take this number here and add one more. <clears throat> and this three stays the same. So I have 93 cans. Go ahead for your answer and write 93 cans. <clears throat> I'll give you a, just a minute to get that done. 83 cans plus 10 cans equals 93 cans. <coughs> Number two, find each sum. 10 plus 36 and 13 plus 10. 10 plus 36, so that's the same thing as 36 plus 10, right? I can grab out my math folder if I need to. I'm grabbing mine. Thank you. <clears throat> so I'm going to look here. 36 and 10 more. That is 46. And 13 plus 10. 13 plus 10 is... 23. Pretty soon it'll become really obvious to you first grade that you're taking this number plus this number and you're keeping the, the one spot because you can't, there's nothing to add with 3 plus 0. You'll realize you're taking 1 plus 3 which is 4 and you're adding the 6 to the end because 6 plus 0 is 6. All right, <clears throat> so that'll come to you. It just takes time. Number three, you need your ruler out. So if you don't have your ruler, you'll need to grab yours. I needed to ask for mine too today. We need to go ahead and measure each of the line segments using inches. So remember that the inches side goes from zero to 12. From zero to 12. So we're gonna start at zero and find how, how long the horizontal line segment is. I'm gonna turn my paper to the a little bit here. Nope. All right. So I'm going starting at zero. And I'm stopping where my other point is for my line segment. And you can see that I have two inches. That's the horizontal. So I'm going to write a two. Do I need to write inches? Nope, because you see those two little dashes. Remember, that is inches. Now, my vertical line segment is here on the side, so I'm going to turn it to the side because it's easier for me to measure if it's in front of me. I'm going to start at zero again, and I'm going to end where the other point is for my line segment, and that is at the three. So my vertical line segment is three inches. Okay, and then you can put your ruler to the side because you don't need that. We're going to look at number four. It says, Chris has nine white socks. 
draw the socks and circle the pairs. I'm not doing anything fancy. They kind of just look a little funny. I'm drawing nine socks. It's okay if they're different sizes. <clears throat> okay. And we have to circle the pairs, it said, right? So a pair is how many? A pair is two. So I have to circle them by twos. There's a pair. There's a pair. One, two. One, two. Okay, <clears throat> I have a, a lonely sock. Can I circle it? No, because it doesn't have a match. You can only circle if it has a match. So how many pairs are there? One, two, three, four. There are four pairs. And how many extras are there? That's this guy right here. How many extras are there? There is one extra sock. Okay, that's where that goes. All right, let's keep moving on here. I'm going to move this a little bit so it's easier for you to see it. All right, now, number five says write the even and odd numbers. So, zero, two, four, those are our even numbers. Zero, two, four, six, eight. 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. Yep, those are the even ones. 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, and 20. And then we need our odd numbers. Those are ones that are going to have something left over, kind of like our socks had something left over. Okay, one, three, five, seven, nine, eleven, thirteen, fifteen, seventeen, nineteen, twenty-one. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, those are our odd numbers. One, three, five, seven, nine, eleven, thirteen, fifteen, seventeen, nineteen, and twenty one. All right. Now, <clears throat> number six says, How much money is this? So we need to count. And if I'm looking, oh, this is part of our new lesson today, isn't it? We are talking about the nickel today, and those are each worth five cents. Those are all worth five cents. So here we go. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. So how much money is it? 35 cents. All right. Now, friends, we did the front side together. The back side is for you. Don't forget your name and the date again. November 16th, 2020. <clears throat> You'll need your crayons for the back side to color some triangles. You'll need blue, red, and yellow. Seven socks, draw them and circle the pairs. You'll need red and yellow for number five. You need to color the even numbers red and the odd numbers yellow. And then down here, you're counting your money. Mmm, Monticello, five cents. These are all five cents. See our former president on the front side and Monticello on the back side. All right. When you are done with this back side, then you are welcome to put that into your Monday folder and you are done with math for today.